Well, hello everybody. This is Les Hall, and I'm here to tell you about a programming language called OpenSCAD that enables us to make 3D printable objects by programming, of course. I would like you to go to uh, another time. Go to www.openscad.org and you'll find everything you need to know about OpenSCAD there. Teach yourself from the manual. Hey, what do you need me for? Well, I'm going to make it easy on you. We're going to start with some basic shapes, basic shapes, and get into a little constructive solid geometry and throw in a few tips and techniques along the way. Let's begin with a sphere. Sphere. Sphere and hit F5. We get a little sphere. We can use our scroll wheel on a PC or our magic mouse on a Mac. And we see a blocky sphere here. The reason it's blocky is that there is a variable called $FN. And it's set very low by default for efficiency's sake in case you're on a really slow computer, but we're not. So let's set that up to 32, hit F5. Ah, it looks more like a sphere. Good, 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 good. But he's a default radius. He's a small sphere. Let's give him a diameter, default radius of one millimeter. Let's give him a diameter of 10 units. There it is large again. So this is a 10 millimeter in 3D printing. We typically use millimeters. You can use whatever units you like. I recommend you use millimeters. And let's look at some basic shapes. We're going to look at three of them. There's four. There's also a polygon, polyhedron, no, polygon, whatever it is. Um, I don't use that very often because it requires typing in or generating large amounts of numbers. Let's do a cylinder. And let's say this diameter is 5, and this h, this height, is 15. And we always add to the cylinder center equal true. A 5, and there we have our cylinder unioned superimposed there is an implicit union in OpenSCAD so the parts are put together that is the same as if we had typed the constructive solid geometry operator union this won't do anything different but it's better it's more organized Hit Command I on an Apple or Control I on a PC to, or I'm not sure. I think they have Linux. Yeah, they do. Hit F5 and we get our shape again. Now let's look at before we get into a uh, cube. Let's look at some basic operations. That was the union. In constructive solid geometry or set theory also, we have the difference function F5. And it made this object. Isn't that pretty? I use that to make a finger ring, actually. Uh, if I make this be about eight. Yes about seven and I also squash down this sphere with this transformation scale let's see one in X one in Y and 0 0.7 in Z there we go and what I did is I put the earth all around this I wrote a program that generates a height map and 
makes a ring out of this thing. Pretty nice, huh? Okay. Let's try the other operator. We tried union and difference. We have intersection. Now that looks different. It's the intersection of the two parts. This is where they meet, where they share material. Now if you want to know how you got that, you can go to View Thrown Together, or F12, and it shows you all the shapes as they existed prior to this CSG operation of intersection occurring. We'll go back to our preview view. Now, why don't we do, to bring the cube into the action, let's do a difference. And we're going to shift down arrow here, command I, close the curly brackets, and put our cube size equal center, I'll put center below, center equal true. Take up the space so you can see everything. And what are we going to do with that size? Let's see, the cylinder is seven wide. So if we make it, say, nine, no, we want it less than seven. Six by six by only four units high. And hit F5. We get something interesting. Look at that shape. We have taken the cube and sort of hollowed out and made some windows in the shape that the intersection provided by using the difference function. And that's about it for the very basics you need. What I just showed you is all you need to catapult yourself from beginner to intermediate by just practicing a little bit with some constructive solid geometry, making some shapes, do your snowman, do uh, anything, uh, a statuette, the ring that I talked about, whatever. And you can, uh, become pretty skilled in OpenSCAD just using that stuff. Remember, you always want to go back to OpenSCAD.org, not this video, for uh, all the information, the latest downloads. You can get on the mailing list. You can, uh, excuse me for saying, uh. <laughs> Someone once made a song of me saying nothing but uh. That was, I, everybody enjoyed that song. That was hilarious. But uh, when you're at a loss for words, what are you going to do? OpenSCAD.org is the place to go. And you'll find documentation that describes this stuff and other details that I've left out. Okay, that does it. Let's uh, call that a video. One little snippet of information that catapults you to intermediate. And... Maybe I'll make more videos, maybe not. Depends if I get any responses or views. Okay, bless out and praise the Lord.